talk to us a little bit and tell us how attitudes toward race in America have changed a little bit during your lifetime? It had been easy for me, but I go through it. I accept it. And because growing up, growing up, it was hard for me. After my, I lost my mother when I was 16 years old. Yeah. And she um, leaves six of us. Four boys, two girls. And she leave a baby. That was a year and 11 months. And I have to take care of everybody. My siblings. I have to take care of them. And it wasn't easy for me. But God take me through it. My daddy leave us and leave them and, and me. And I have to go and work to take care of them. I was 16, my brother was 12, my sister was nine. One was six, one four, and the baby was a year and 11 months. And I have to take care of them until they grow. And after they grow up, I started having my kids, my own kids. Uh -huh. And I have seven boys, one girl, she's a baby. Oh and God. yes, it wasn't easy growing up. We suffer so much, but thank God after we come here, it was very good for us. I come here, my, one, two of my son came here first. One take me and I take the rest of kids, my kids. Yeah. Yes. And we live in, we live together until everybody branch off. And now I'm living by myself, but everybody is still around me. Because oh, my, yeah. my son, he cook for me. My daughter, he takes such good care of me. Mm -hmm. I give God thanks for that one baby girl. <laughs> yes, she she is so sweet. Alice could tell you. She takes such good care of me. Everyone, because every day everybody calls to find out how I'm doing. You know, so a uh, call away is so good. So very good. Everybody still around me and take such good care. And now I'm here. I have Alex. She's taking such good care of me. What are some of the things you've seen over your lifetime with black with black history and, and first African American president and things of that nature that you thought you would have probably never seen? Oh, I seen, I came here when Reagan was in power. I was here before and I couldn't, I never, when they're talking about us, so I didn't understand this, what, they were talking about, you know, so it didn't bother me. But since going on to everyone that I met since I'm here, I don't find nothing to, nothing that I could say about them. Only in this, now with this confusion, with the president. So I just lay neutral and don't say nothing about what's going on. 
listen to everybody. Did that present any challenges coming here from another country and trying to blend in? Yes, I blend in because since I'm here, I give thanks for this country because I think it's the best. Um, and I blend in with everybody, everybody else. What are some of the things that make you the most hopeful about the state of race relations in America? I'm alive, thank God. And I love America. I love, I, I, I go back home. My kids go back home, but we didn't stay, we come right back because we love it here. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today, Irma. I think that was wonderful. And I hope, I hope you're welcome. And I hope everything was, is good.